All right, well, we got some blue toolboxes. We're checking out the old Lowe's hardware store. Need to find a couple things. Need to pick up like a weed eater. But, you know, tools kind of draw me in a little bit. So we'll check out and see what else we got here today. Let you know what I find. Well, you guys must have bought all these knives, but I got a couple like CRKT Gerbers left. Too shabby. Prices are halfway. Little M16. Nice. Of course, like every utility knife you can imagine with that. People are walking by looking at me like, what in the hell is this guy doing? But a lot of utility blades. Of course, I got the blue. Can't beat that. But let's keep looking and we'll see. Oh, we got blue hammers. Chisels. Oh, snap. All right, this is not the stuff I'm looking for, but it's fun. Got a deal going here. The old 51 piece gunmetal chrome, 30 bucks off. It's chained up, so we can't get a look at it, but it's kind of that chrome color right here. That's pretty sweet. I got some of the other ones on sale, but that's a good deal right there. 51, 70 bucks. Of course, every other craftsman tool you can imagine. So I have to spend a minute here looking at some of this because I got some little sets that look pretty good. Prices are pretty decent. Of course, some magnetic trays, upgraded version. A little two-piecer there. I might have to get one of those. I wonder if they have a blue one like this. So we can uh, put that on the old, on the desk when we're doing some disassemblies. That'd be kind of fun. All right. I'm getting, uh, off course, but you know, when you get into tools and especially blue ones or craftsmen, big red, check it out. All sorts of organization. Oh well, well we'll get it going. We gotta keep talking over this music, otherwise they get angry, mark it off. So, all right, we'll keep looking at this stuff and uh, continue on. Well, I got a bunch of blue bags, but no blue boxes yet that I've found, other than the big ones, the rollies. Uh, I'd probably get myself in trouble if I bought one of those rollies, but it'd be sweet. I got a pro spider work stool, 42 bucks. And for all you, those uh, self-sufficient people, got the old Gel Pro knee pads, 25 bucks. Pretty groovy. I got the little knee pad there for 11 bucks. Just throw it wherever. Those are handy, actually. Limited buy. You get those water balloon packs, 25 bucks. Do these Nerf? Got little Nerf games. Oh, the gel blasters. Oh, it gets dangerous right there. All right, keep it on. Well, we found the right section. The biggest question has been, do I continue cordless or do I go gas? Because the cordless ones seem to cut out and don't get the job done all the way. We got pro grade here, electric cordless, same with the, the blue cobalt. But you know, I was looking online, they only get like 20 to 40 minutes and you got a lot going on and I got a lot of like edges. So I don't know if that one's gonna work. So see if we can find something that's gas powered. Getting a little closer over here. And they're really pushing the cordless stuff big time. Blowers and edgers and saws and brush cutters. Lots of weed eaters, string trimmers for it. I'm not sure that electric's my go back to, so let's look and see what we got for gas powered ones here. We're in the right neighborhood now. That one's got a 17 inch 
area. 179, 189, 279. All right, let's compare the options. As seen on TV, copper grill mat, exclusive ruby sliders, the extreme hose, and the turbo jet. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Okay, I was a little plugged up, but have you seen a hockey stick at Lowe's before? I wonder if there's a price on it. Looks like it's been used a little bit. Maybe get a back aisle deal. <laughs> now that's a carpet color I would get just because it's called the Notorious Gaucho. Now if you're a camper or something like that, you can always get into the machete action, but I would honestly recommend one of these type of saws because overall, like, they fold up, go in your rig, go in your pack, and they can cut through so much. Uh, I recommend the Silky Saws. They have a bunch of options, but even if you're just, you know, stopping in before you go on your trip, grab one of these, 27 bucks. Pretty good deal. But yeah, great to have. Never know when you need some extra, uh, you know, firewood, or maybe you got some big branches and stuff that get in your way, but still searching for if you can see i got a weed eater here string trimmer we're gonna try this one out and i'm deciding between the pre-mixed fuel they have here uh can't seem to locate a gas can here so we'll keep searching i got some uh blue colored axes and splitting malls and little hatchets but I'm not sure yeah it's fisker's brand on those two no prices so maybe they're free give them away fisker's aka gerber so we'll keep on the hunt Got bird feeders now. All right, we went to Benchmade, but it was super secret employee sale day. You didn't hear it from me, but it's there. Uh, so really cool, they hooked up their employees with some awesome stuff. And on top of it, it's super, super hot. It's about 90 degrees today, so had to get hydrated and stay hydrated. And uh, we're gonna do a little DSKFS today. So I'll uh, put that in the video probably next, but stay tuned for it, it's kinda cool. Uh, hopefully I'll give you the backstory too. <laughs> All right, see you in a few. Well, hashtag DSKFS. We'll get into the story in a little bit. So first off, you're looking at the uh, widest waterfall west of the Mississippi. Pretty groovy, Willamette Falls, Willamette River. Uh, zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see what's happening there. It's not the best picture of it. We'll have to get one uh, next week way up above. But I wanted to give you a little details on the DSKFS, do something kind for someone. Uh, go to an office every, you know, I visit them every, you know, few weeks or so. Uh, we got some railroad work going on down here as well, it looks like. Doing some track maintenance. But, uh, you know, the staff there are super great. One of those things where all of a sudden, you know, you get a conversation. Oh, okay, this, that. And then, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be here probably very for much longer. And it's like, oh, how come? And, oh, getting married and moving. It's like, oh. And like, yeah, of course it's Portland, right? It's Portland metro area. And so they're like, yeah, we're trying to figure out how to move this bed and dump it and get rid of it. But you know, the dump's like so far away, we only have some little, you know, smart car kind of thing. And so it's like, well, sometimes you just gotta like help people out. So made an extra trip tonight to uh, go over there, pick that stuff up. Uh, it was just set outside so I could grab it real quick throw it in the truck and off we went. So we'll do a little dump run this weekend. I'll try to include that in the vlog as well, but figured these are some cool sunset shots of the uh, Willamette River. Hope you guys are having some fun yourself and uh, we'll pick this up at the dump. All right, well, we made it to the dump. I wish I could, uh, you know, bring you along with the smell of vision but that's not what it's happening about today, so. We're uh, gonna get this unloaded. I'll show you what it looks like, but it's probably your typical, you know, transfer station. But yeah, happy morning, and I hope you're having uh, a good day. Let's get stinky. All right, we got the stop sign. This is where you uh, drive onto the scale. They weigh you, and then uh, drop off your info, and then go dump. We were here at the dump this morning, getting it all tossed in. And smell of vision activated. And you know, because it's Portland, we got a mad recycling going on here too. So pretty cool they offer it. Let's get rolling. Now there's a special place where you can get authentic Mediterranean food and 
original donuts. Well, I figured I'd come share a little bit of what we got on the Clackamas River. Shout out to the Willamette River you saw last week on the ferry crossing. Uh, we're about to wrap up this vlog. Uh, beautiful weather. Of course, you got some people out here enjoying it, doing a little floating. Got some rapids and stuff, little bitty ones. Uh, a fun experience if you've ever uh, floated the Clackamas. Got a little boat down here. You can see that. Let's zoom in, get a little action. Little family out having fun. But yeah, so kind of a cool deal. It's got a little bit of current with it. Uh, today, of course, we're sporting the the Mini Ritter from Benchmade and M390. Got some custom G10 uh, and black and blue scales on it. So pretty awesome. But yeah, you can see everything that's happening out here. Having a good day. Super, super hot weather uh, for Oregon. You know, we're in the 90s already and uh, hasn't even hit the peak of the afternoon. So hope you guys are doing good. A little Hellcat, Lime Hellcat. Had to get that on there. But yeah, so we're having fun. We got uh, Bald Eagle up here. Some awesome goodness going on. So I uh, hope you guys, hashtag DSKFS, do something kind for someone. Have an awesome, awesome rest of your day, but most importantly, take care.